uh, looking at the situation on the ground and of course uh, uh, the fact that if the uh, uh, population can be voting already uh, to join uh, the uh, Russian Federation, it is an indication that uh, they are actually uh, fed up with uh, how things are uh, uh, turning up there in uh, Ukraine uh, regarding the leadership's uh, way of handling uh, the situation which actually the third party is actually uh, engulfed. So uh, uh, what do you think, uh, again, uh, as we are concluding uh, this uh, program, uh, so what opportunity uh, uh, does this election present not just for Russia, not just uh, for, for, but now to the international of, uh, uh, community, what can be learned uh, regarding the stance by Russia? We mentioned uh, the, the, the aim of, of course, uh, bringing uh, an election that will inculcate uh, a people that seems to be isolated and, of course, uh, putting into consideration their rights and also bringing representatives that can listen uh, to their uh, plea, uh, of course, uh, and also have their, their stay uh, or say in uh, the, uh, uh, the way things are being uh, run around them. So, Holistically and conclusively, uh, what can we make and what are the greater expectations of this? Well, first of all, I'd like to uh, echo uh, Dr. Ellis' uh, comments bearing on the fact that no matter what uh, process is being implemented, um, owing to you know the uh, idea which is, you know, let's see what those people want to do where do they you know belong uh, if they don't belong into some kind of negotiated agreement within the minsk accord framework uh you know then uh, where should where should they go obviously russia decided that you know uh, enough was enough and they provided uh, the legal framework for them to express their their willingness to uh rejoin the russian federation uh, all this could have been avoided uh but if it, you know and i agree Unfortunately, and you know, uh, holistically, unfortunately, uh, I would say that uh, everything that will be uh, uh, endeavored by the Russian Federation to, legally speaking, and, and the Russian government is a lot of things, and they're especially legalist. Uh, they believe that the charter might not be the best, uh, 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 an ideal document. That's the only one we have. And so, you know, owing to those general principles of law and owing to the uh, technical uh, application of those principles uh, to the uh, situation at issue, uh, Russia did the only thing it could within the framework that allowed it to do so. Uh, the problem is, as Dr. Ellis uh, correctly mentioned, uh, we have uh, witnessed a system of external management in Ukraine Ukraine is not an independent state, so this is a premise that should be uh, incorporated into any kind of analysis to, you know, before anything else is looked into. And uh, as it turns out, the uh, entire American political establishment uh, has personal stakes in this remaining uh, the case. Uh, and they understand that if uh, officially Ukraine was to lose that conflict, all those conflicts of interest and all those uh, instances of external management would come to light. And one can wager that not only their political career would be over, but uh, they would most likely be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. So this is more than just a objectively neutral uh, analysis, a rational as analysis based game here. We're talking about an entire American political class that is running out and you know, running for its life. And we see it uh, in the instance that there is no peace negotiation or no, any kind of uh, remotely any kind of uh, indication that uh, we are heading to a an appeasement or some kind of uh, a, a rapprochement or that talk or some kind of uh, winding down off ramp, whatever you want to call it on the outside, but also on the inside when, as we near the 2024 presidential uh, presidential sweepstakes in America, uh, the putative uh, GOP nominee, which happens to be running away with the nomination, 
uh, even though the election campaign hasn't started yet, but who uh, expressly stated that he would put a term to this uh, Ukraine uh, situation if he was to be elected, uh, represents, you know, uh, such a threat that uh, everything, uh, every trick in the book is being pulled to try to disqualify him from running. Uh, and, and, and the more they actually go out of their way to do so, the more he becomes popular. So uh, now we are really getting into dangerous territory because what is the next step? Are they going to resort to political violence, the likes of what we saw with JFK? And this actually will somewhat you know, connect with what Dr. Hillis was saying earlier, is that there are interests in the United States which represent anything but the popular will and we do not care a bit about uh, international security to the extent they can keep the control over the levers of government and uh, uh, line up their pockets.